Welcome back economic students to today's topic demand versus supply. We will do the following. For both demand and supply, we are going to define and look at both the demand and supply curve. Let's first look at our demand. When we talk about demand, we are talking about our households and our households are our consumers in the economy. Please recap the production income and spending video if you have not yet done so. Demand is therefore the quantities of goods and services that our consumers are able and willing to buy. However, note the following explanation that will help you understand the law of demand, but please do not write this down in your exam. Consumers are cheap. Yes, consumers are cheapskates. Our households are made up out of normal and ordinary people such as you and I. We want the most or the highest amount of goods, but we want to pay the lowest price possible. Keeping this in mind, let's define demand, where after we are going to look at our law of demand. Demand therefore refers to the quantity of goods and services that prospective buyers are willing and able to purchase. The law of demand, we state the following, cetris paribus, meaning all other things being equal. The higher the price of the good, the lower the quantity demanded. So, keeping in mind that our consumers are cheapskates, the law of demand makes sense. The higher the price, the lower the amount demanded. If prices increases, our consumers will demand less. The law of demand is therefore, an increase in price will lead to a decrease in quantity demand. Having looked at our definition and law, now it's time for the demand curve. With price on our y-axis and quantity on our x-axis, we are now going to look at our demand curve. It's important to note that this curve merely illustrates the relationship between price and quantity. The demand curve therefore looks as follows. Important to note that the demand curve illustrates an inverse relationship between price and quantity meaning if price increases, quantity decreases. Please note that in this video, we are only going to look what a movement along the curve and a shift of our demand curve looks like. In the following video, we will take a closer look at the factors of demand in addition to the factors of supply. Firstly, let's look at a movement along the demand curve. Our starting point will be at P0 and Q0. We will therefore investigate what a change in price will do to our quantity demand. If the price increases from P0 to P1, we will illustrate this by an upward movement along our demand curve from point A to point B. An increase in price from P0 to P1 will have a corresponding decrease in quantity. Our new quantity will therefore correspond with our point B. Our new quantity is therefore Q1. Our quantity decreased from Q0 to Q1 due to an increase in price from P0 to P1. But what about a decrease in price? Let's decrease price from P0 to P2. A decrease in price is illustrated as a downward movement along our demand curve. We therefore move from point A to point C, our new price P2, and quantity will increase from Q0 to Q2. Now it's time to look at a shift in our demand curve. Our starting point will be at demand 0 with a corresponding price 0 and quantity 0. We will now increase demand. It's important to note that only our quantity will change, where price will remain unchanged. An increase in demand is illustrated by an outwards shift or outward movement of our demand curve. Our new demand is therefore demand 1. For demand 1, we have our new quantity, Q1. Therefore, an increase in demand will shift our demand curve outwards or to the right. Our new demand, D1, our price, P0, and our new quantity, Q1. Price remained unchanged and quantity increased. Now it's time to look at a decrease in demand. A decrease in demand is illustrated by a leftward shift of our demand curve from D0 to D2. 
hence our new quantity Q2. A decrease in demand will therefore result in a decrease in quantity. Our price remained unchanged. Great, demand done. Let's now move to supply. Before starting with supply, take a break, make some coffee, and I'll see you again in the next video.